Hey, are you wondering how you can get your new MacBook Pro or MacBook Air with the new Apple M1 chip in it cleaned so that you can either sell it or send it back to Apple? Or maybe you just want to start fresh with a brand new hard drive. You don't want anything installed on it. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you the special keystrokes and how to do that. And it's going to start right now. Okay, so let's take a look at the computer now. We're gonna go ahead and normally you would be able to just simply hold down the command and the option button and then press R. So you hold down command, option, and R. Typically with the Intel Macs, that would boot into the re internet recovery menu. All that happens here though, is it just goes ahead and boots in normally to my regular screen. So that's not what I want. What I wanna do is be able to enter internet recovery and the typical key command of command option R isn't gonna work. So that's not gonna work. So what do I do? This time what I'm gonna do is press and hold the power button until I see the Apple logo pop up and it says loading startup options. Go ahead and click options, then click continue. And after a little bit of the Apple logo and the white bar, what you'll see is Mac OS recovery. This is where you can enter disk utility if you want to format the drive, or you can go ahead and reinstall the most recent operating system. Now, if you're giving this Mac back or you're wanting to sell it, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and format this drive. What this does is it goes ahead and it erases everything that's on that drive. Now I can go through, check the data, and format that drive as well. Once that's formatted, go ahead and exit out by hitting the red X in the top left-hand corner. Okay, you'll see a screen come up that says activate Mac. Go ahead and let that just do its thing. You can see the spinning wheel here is doing something in the background. Once it's done with that, it'll come up to exit to recovery utilities and that takes you back out. Now you can go ahead and reinstall the operating system, which by the way is going to be the latest operating system that Apple has. It's not going to be something that you can retroact back to a older operating system. Go ahead and just go through the motions of answering the questions, install it on whatever drive you want it installed on, and once it goes through that process, you should be good to go. This is something that you wanna use whenever you're selling your MacBook Air or your MacBook Pro. It's also something you wanna do before you return any product to Apple. The reason why is because if you return product to Apple, they'll make you stand there and watch this process as they do it in front of you so that they know and you know that nobody's getting any of your data. If you're having trouble with your computer, this is also really helpful to just start from scratch and reinstall the whole operating system. So right now, this recovery is going to work for both the MacBook Air, the brand new one with the M1 chip, and the MacBook Pro 13 inch with the M1 chip. You're also going to be able to do this on the new iMac once it's released, which is the really thin, very colorful, brand new iMac that they've just come out with. This method is probably going to be the method of the future for entering the recovery mode on your Mac. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit the like button down below. That really helps my channel grow and tells people that uh, this video is a cool video. Also, if you want more of this kind of content, I'll be doing a lot of tech and photography type stuff on here, along with some lifestyle stuff that I'm doing down here in Southern California. So hit the subscribe button if you want to follow along. In the meantime, I hope that you just keep it simple, my friend. You like my makeshift studio? Oh my goodness. I got this wonderful light over here just to add a little texture to the background. Turn this light on over here for the same reason. Even though it's 9.30 in the morning and it's bright and sunny out, I love it. <laughs>